Hello guys. Today I'm going to show you a file system of the data power. So the objective of this session is to get introduced about uh, data power file system and where to find uh, what information on data power XI52 appliance. So right here uh, we are on uh, we are logged in on the data power appliance and right now we are logged in the default domain. So the first thing which I would like to tell you about uh, data power file system is that uh, there are two categories of uh, directories basically you will find on the file system. Uh, the one directory, the one kind of directory is replicated all across domains. So each domain has that directory. I will tell you what those directories are. And uh, the another kind of directory is on appliance level. So for example, they are, you can say that uh, they are shared all across domains so these are the two categories of directories uh, which are of which are found in the data power apart from that uh, some directories are encrypted they are encrypted in a sense that uh, you can upload a content inside that directory but usually you cannot edit that content or you cannot view that content for that matter so those directories are uh, encrypted directories uh, before putting into that content, you must be sure that you hold a copy of that directory because sometimes you cannot copy from that directory either. Other properties related to directories are that uh, some directories are visible inside uh, the default domain while other directories are not visible. Uh, uh, other directories are not visible. So, for example, uh, since I am in default domain, so most of the directories are visible to me. And uh, if I go ahead and change my uh, domain, which I will do, you will see that uh, some of the directories which are visible in default domain will not be visible there. So this is a quick introduction about uh, uh, directories and file system on the data power uh, device. There are two places to look for uh, when you are dealing with file system on the data power. The first is uh, this uh, default uh, page, I mean the page which comes after login. Here uh, we have the file system, so you can click on it and uh, you have that file system exposed before you. The other is to go uh, with the menu, so type in just file and you will see that uh, there are two key uh, menu options which are coming. One is file management and another is file system information. If, a, if you click on the file management, you will land on the same page had you clicked the file management over here. So both these options are same. The second is file system information. So this, this information will provide you something more detailed which is not present in the file system option. So let's go ahead and click on it. It will take a moment to load. <coughs> yeah, so we have file system information. This provides some statistical information about the file. You can see that uh, the uh, most of the memory inside uh, the file system are encrypted. So we have free encrypted space. We have total encrypted space. We have free temporary space. Similarly, total temporary space and this is something which is used by the data power itself. So this is the information that you get when you click the file system information. <coughs> uh, let's uh, move ahead, uh, go back to the previous screen. So I will say file and uh, here is file system information and file management. So let's click on the file management. Yeah, so we are on file management uh, screen. So just to show you that uh, if had we uh, had we uh, clicked 
the folder icon which was present on the uh, main screen of the data power we would have landed on the same screen which you have just seen uh, I am going back and I am clicking the folder icon and uh, as you will see that I will land up on the same page uh, which, which you have just seen so give me a moment I am just uh, going back and uh, clicking that folder icon yeah so I am here I am clicking the file management and uh, it will now take me up to the same page right so we are right here on the file management uh, screen and uh, you can see that on top of it uh, we have two critical information that is displayed one is available space and one is temporary space so um, what I can say about is that uh, temporary space needs to be something if that temporary space is 0 bytes or 0 m, m bytes then you surely are in trouble and uh, I think you seriously needs to clean up your data power uh, data power temporary directory or some of removing some of your files from the data power usually this does not happens but uh, this uh, happens if there is some problem with the uh, data power appliance but this does not mean that uh, having a zero megabyte having a temporary zero megabyte of a space necessarily means uh, data power appliance has some problem it may be that you have filled its file system so heavily that there is no space in temporary directory now uh, let's move ahead quickly and uh, uh, learn about uh, each directories of the data power but before that I would like to know I would like to tell you that uh, when we are usually dealing with a file system uh, our intent is to typically uh, read and write files on that file system we can do the same on the data power appliance itself and for that every direct every directory has actions so if you click on the action you will get a menu and you can see that you have options of uploading a file you have options of uh, fetching a file so uploading file is similar to uh, uh, writing a file to your files uh, file system or directory fetching a file is similar to reading your file system and there are two special operations as well one is create subdirectory and another is delete directory as you can see <coughs> these options are uh, grayed out over here the reason is because in data power uh, you cannot create directory or you cannot delete an arbitrary directory so for example we are in search uh, uh, we are in search directory right now I have clicked the options associated with search and cert is a directory which is an encrypted directory and considered to be a secure so uh, delete directory and create subdirectory options are not allowed over here but if you go to the local directory and see what happens you can create a subdirectory over here but you cannot delete this directory because this is a top level directory so you cannot delete it but if you go inside that local and uh, you can see yeah you cannot delete this directory either but if you go further inside yeah so I think these are all system created directories so we cannot delete the directory either so uh, I mean the point to note here is that uh, the GUI will provide you all the information that is useful for dealing with the file system and wherever there is uh, it is inappropriate that uh, you do some kind of operation that option operations are already grayed out in the uh, provided menu so that anybody cannot accidentally do that operation so this is the all idea about uh, overall actions that you can uh, perform on this file system <coughs> now let's go ahead and uh, do one by uh, uh, see one by one what what is the purpose of each directory and uh, uh, what are the characteristics of that directory so the first directory is the cert directory 
uh, the third directory is uh, uh, separated domain wise so what 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 that means is that uh, for example you have several domains for example I have got several domains created in in this uh, data power device default is one that gets created automatically but other one I have created so if you go ahead and check in the EI domain you will find a third directory there as well so this third directory is separate for each domain third directory is a uh, encrypted directory so you can upload content over here but uh, you cannot copy content from here so for example if I am in this third directory right now you can since I am in the default domain so you can see that uh, all the all the cert direct all the domains are listed over here and if I click on each domain I will see what is inside the cert directory of EAI domains although the folder is named by EAI it is domain wise name but the content which is displayed over here are the contents which are in cert directory of the EAI so take an example uh, I, I will say this is this is the one content those EAV something if if we go in the EAI directory and uh, if we uh, list the contents of the cert directory uh, we will see that all these files are listed over there similarly cert directory holds content for other directories as well so these are all the mm, uh, all the domains which are on the data power and uh, uh, you can say that uh, whatever is here you will find uh, the same content if you go into that domain and list the content of the search directory now as I said this is a encrypted directory and it's not easy uh, I mean sometimes it will not be feasible for you to list down contents uh, to see uh, the contents of the file which are present inside the search directory this, this is for the reason because the cert directory is intended to hold private keys and certificates of the uh, uh, partner or you can say private key of the data power so private key sensor it is a very sensitive material so data power will not allow you to list the uh, list the content of that private key file uh, to show you that uh, I will go to EAI domain so for example It's a little bit slow, and that's why I refrain from changing the domain each time I'm uh, telling you what to do, what to look where. So, for example, I'm in EI domain. If I go to the file system, So let's see what is served to me and you can see that the contents which were displayed in the default domain are also over here and uh, let's go ahead and uh, check uh, what is inside the uh, what is inside this so 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 if I click on it and I click actions and I click fetch files let's see what happens. so it is not providing me an option to 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 copy this file and uh, what i can say is that i will go back
yeah I will go back and I will check another file so for example if I am in local folder you can see the hyperlink is uh, appearing over here usually when a file is allowed to uh, copy or file is, file is something which you can extract from the data power uh, you can see that uh, there is a hyperlink over here which is appearing and when you click that hyperlink you will see the contents of the file this kind of hyperlink is not appearing in the uh, search folder so even if it is providing me an option like uh, I selected it and I said actions and I said fetch files the options which you have uh, shown earlier that it is, it is providing me a text box to enter some information even if you enter that information uh, you will not be able to fetch that file ultimately it will get error out so that's the whole idea and you can see that even if I hover my mou mouse over here there is no hyperlink that is uh, opening up so uh, because this is a search directory a protected directory hence uh, contents inside it cannot be copied uh, to uh, any of your uh, you, I mean you cannot see usually the content of this file so that's about set folder <coughs> now uh, let's go back to uh, the uh, default domain and uh, let's see uh, what other options what other directories are available there so I'm going back to my default domain So I am. Uh, let me go to the file management first. Right. So uh, we have seen what is inside the cert folder. Cert folder is specific to each uh, domains that exist on the data power. So it is a domain level directory. Checkpoints are something which are also domain level directory. Checkpoints holds. So whenever uh, you uh, make any changes and you create checkpoints in the data power, uh, that checkpoints are specific to each domain and uh, checkpoint specific information are put inside the uh, domain. So if you are in the default domain, you should see all the domains. So all the folders are empty because I have not created a checkpoint in any of the domain. So these folders are empty right now but uh, uh, these are uh, domain level folders now there is config config is also a domain level folder so you can consider that all domain level system configuration holds inside that uh, config uh, the idea is that uh, uh, if you are in for example uh, if you are in EAI domain or you can say you are in student01 domain there will be a file called student01.cfg if you click that file you will see that there is a series of commands this series of commands are executed when a domain gets restarted so they basically create uh, objects uh, or configurations that exist in that particular domain you should not edit this CFG file and uh, they are typically system generated another is export so uh, whenever you export objects from the data power so for example you have a uh, you have a multi protocol gateway and you want to export it so that you can import this object to another data power another domain so the that kind of export goes inside uh, the export folder this is also a domain level folder and you can see that uh, uh, since I have mostly used the EI domain so there are there are folders uh, there are zip files which are exported over here so these are exported objects basically so this is export folder export folder is domain wise and you can uh, easily copy the content of that export folder all you need to do is to click on it and there is a hyperlink that gets appeared you click it and your download gets started so here is download which is getting started is complete as well so it's very fast <laughs> now uh, go to the image image is what so for example consider a scenario in which uh, you want to upgrade the firmware of the data power so whenever you upload that firmware uh, firmware image which is basically a zip file or a compressed file that file goes inside the image directory the image directory is cleaned up once the data power gets uh, 
uh, upgraded or something. So image is the appliance level directory and it's not available in each domain. <coughs> in fact, not visible in each domain. Okay. Local is uh, something where you put uh, your customized uh, style sheets. So in data power, whenever we have to do a kind of programming, uh, we write style sheets and all those style sheets are usually get uploaded in the local folder. Since, uh, uh, since we are in the default domain, so if I click local, you will see local folders of all those uh, domains which are here. So local is a domain level directory which is present for each domain and right now we are seeing the uh, right now we are seeing the uh, local uh, folder of EAI domains. You can see that this is uh, the local folder of EAI domain. It contains all my custom files, custom scripts. It is allowed that you can create directories inside uh, local folders. So, if you are, say for example, if you are in domain, a particular domain, say uh, if you are, uh, say, student01 domain, so you will see a local folder over there and there, uh, if you expand that local folder, you will not get a uh, structure like here because this is a default domain. So we have uh, so we have uh, uh, we have that uh, local file files uh, local folders are shown directory wise domain wise but if you are in a particular domain uh, if you click that local folder uh, for example if you are in student 01 domain if you click that you will see only hdd directory custom filter and all these four files if you want to create a subdirectory inside uh, student 01 you click it and it creates subdirectory and a directory will create it over here. So local folder uh, we got it and then log store and log tab. So these are for logging directory. I tell you the information by default uh, logs go into the log tab but log tab have a, has a capacity to hold only 15 MBs of uh, uh, data. So uh, <coughs> log tab is something uh, where uh, we hold uh, uh, we hold, uh, we can hold only 15 MBs of data. So this is a temporary kind of directory. If you want to archive your log, then you need to go to the log store. So log store is also domain wise. Each domain has one log store and each domain has one log temp directory. So you can find it there. Uh, PubSert is something which holds public certificate of uh, uh, public certificates, various kind of public certificate of trust anchors. So for example, if you uh, if you have if you are using a browser, uh, there are 80 trust anchors which comes by default uh, pre-packaged with your uh, browser, and uh, similar kind of trust anchors are also available in the data power, and they are in the pub serve so that uh, you can uh, utilize them. See, all these are pre-installed certificate that came with the data power. So, for example, Thwate is over here and here is VeriSign as well. So, this is a kind of, uh, uh, this is a typical place where you find uh, all those trust anchors. Shared cert. Shared cert is uh, shared across all the domains that are present. And uh, you can say that uh, this is a place where if you put a file, it will be visible inside all the domains. So uh, shared cert is something, a place to uh, put all those files. So for example, if, if I would like to, uh, if I, I would like, I, I, ha I have a certificate which I would like to utilize in all the domains. Uh, then if I put it in uh, say for example local or cert it will be available in that domain as well if I need to utilize that certificate in other domains I need to uh, again get a copy of that certificate and upload it to that particular domains cert or uh, local folder local folder is not typically recommended for uh, loading the certificates so we load it in cert but if you put it inside the shared cert then the content will be available automatically av made available to all the domains. So shared cert is a, a place to go for that. Store. Store is a system directory. Give me a moment.
Yeah. So there are two system directories. One is a store, and one other another is task templates. These are usually not visible inside uh, another domain since we are in the default domain, so we can see that they are uh, system directories in a sense. Uh, why I say the system directories is because uh, they hold system level files. So I tell you specifically what they hold. Store is something which holds uh, configurations files which are used by data power objects inherently. Say for example, uh, <coughs> in a multi protocol gateway, you got a request as an XML and you want to transform it into the JSON or say the vice versa. Then you need to apply appropriate transformation on the incoming message. Data Power has a built-in capability to apply that transformation, but how that built-in capability comes is because of a typical style sheet which acts on the incoming message and transforms it into the another format. Now, every transformation, every style sheet transformation is based on an XSL file and you will find that XSL file inside the stored directory. So, if we expand the stored directory, you will have several files which are used by data power objects uh, for their functionality. Another example is SQL injection. If you want to check the SQL injection and uh, you need you in uh, you create a rule in the data power that hey whenever a uh, request is coming perform the SQL injection check then you associate a particular configuration file with that uh, with that uh, step in order to tell data power that you need to perform SQL injection check. Those files are pre-built in the data power and you will find all that uh, files over here. So this is a typical purpose of the store. Store is something uh, which is system level but uh, the contents of the store are visible in all the domains that are present so that you can utilize this file system, you can utilize its files. Uh, for building objects and rules. Task template is a pure system level directory. These templates are utilized by the GUI to render the appropriate formatting. So, task template is uh, something related to uh, data power internal working and uh, displaying the contents in the GUI and uh, the formatting stuff. So, this is the purpose of task template. Temporary is a very very important directory and it is uh, you can say a domain level directory that uh, for every domain there is a temporary directory. Temporary holds many kind of uh, it can hold many kind of information it is like a windows temporary directory if I can uh, make an analogy a poor analogy of that but uh, yeah it is a kind of temporary directory windows. So for example. Uh, if you are generating an error report on the data power, the temporary directory is the place to go. You will see that content listed inside the temporary directory. If you are uh, doing packet captures on the data power, then temporary directory is the place where you will see uh, your packet captures uh, getting displayed. So, uh, it is a domain level directory and it is uh, specific for each domain. So for example, you can see that uh, here are uh, uh, temporary files for this and you can see that uh, I go to student yeah, yeah so here are files and they are failure diagnostic files so these kinds of files uh, temporary directory holds this kind of file. The important characteristic of temporary directory is that whenever you restart the domain or restart the appliance for that matter uh, the contents inside temporary directory are clear. So, that is the purpose of uh, temporary directory. So, we have seen that uh, uh, there are a uh, couple of folders uh, present on the file system of the data power. Some folders are uh, device level folders for example, task templates and some folders are shared across uh, other domains like shared cert and some folders are specific to each uh, domain for example cert and uh, typically the local folder some folders are encrypted 
so you cannot uh, copy their content from there but uh, some folders are there for working purpose i mean uh, the purpose of those folders are uh, such that you can upload files you can create directories and etc and etc and uh, once such example is uh, local there are folders for uh, logging storing logs and there is a temporary folder as well so these are the folders which are displayed on the uh, GUI interface of the data power some folders are not even visible in the other uh, domains as well so I went to the another domain and I saw that uh, there are couple of folders which are typically not visible over there this is uh, one example of uh, design where uh, data power shows you what you are entitled to uh, see so people who are uh, entitled to be a developer uh, role or something like that they need not uh, uh, see the folders which are system level folders so uh, if you are in a domain you may not be able to see uh, other folders uh, which are system level folders for example images this is one thing but uh, even uh, with your GUI you will not be able to see a couple of folders which do exist on the data power device and to see that you need to go to the command line interface in the config mode so right now I am in the command line interface but before that let's go back and see hey is there any image folder here is there any task template folder here no they are not why because right now I am in a non default domain so I will not see that folder folders over here yeah so I was saying that uh, even if uh, you are in the default domain and logged in as a system administrator you may not be able to see all the folders that are present on data power appliance so to see that you need to go to the command line interface so I am on the command line interface of the data power and right now I have issued a command called dir in config mode and you can see that uh, one folder which was not shown over there was store folder so these are couple of the folders. There are backtraces folder. See this. This was not present over there. So uh, yeah, DP search certificate. This this is the folder that was not present in the GUI. So even if you are in the GUI, you you may not see all the folders that are present on the data power. Uh, they will be seen only in the uh, <coughs> command line interface. The reason for this probably is that this is what I assume is that. Uh, command line interface is for more expertise users so uh, you can uh, I mean uh, GUI is something which most um, administrator if you as as soon as you uh, get as a seasoned professional in the data power uh, you will you will see that uh, GUI is something which is a little bit although it's very perform it, it performs very well but uh, compared to command line it's uh, less easy to use so command line is something which most administrators use and hence it is for power users so that's why uh, there are several folders and there are several options that are present in command line but which are not present in GUI itself uh, in some another video I will try to explain uh, more about uh, a local uh, you can say uh, uh, give me a moment uh, I was trying to find out the folder. Log 10, log 2, audit, checkpoints, support, local backtraces. Hey, I forgot that. Give me a moment. I go back to the default domain. Let me see what's the folder name. file management yeah so I was saying that uh, <coughs> uh, there are a lot of files inside the store directory so if you go and see there are a lot of files inside the directory and I will try to explain a brief about some of the crucial files that exist inside the directory so that you can utilize them in your uh, 
object uh, whenever we create an object in the data power uh, for the uh, for example in checking SQL injections or antivirus scanning etc etc <coughs> you can get more information about these on IBM site as well so in some other video I will try to explain the, uh, the uh, purpose of some of the crucial files that exist over here and uh, that's all that's all for this uh, uh, video if you have any questions, you can directly shoot me on my email address or you can post me, uh, <coughs> post as a comment over here. I will try to uh, <coughs> uh, answer those questions if I can. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. This is Ajitab.